I do hope you're having a wonderful and fantastic day today. And I am back at the same cemetery I left before where I want to do a small spirit box session on Jack Harris and get a little more as to what happened. Did he owe on a debt or was it vice versa? And you're welcome to join me. And it all starts now. the session I wanted to take a look at a few graves here and I noticed this plot here where you got some of these in marble Herbert von Weiss and his wife Louise then you have over here Theodore von Weiss and thank you for your service sir he left us in 1947. And then you have Adolf. 1877 to 1892. He was very young. And this is the Weiss family plot. And look at this one. Very interesting. We uh, just had, had some of our San Antonio's finest leaving the cemetery. Right here we have Charles Elmdorf. He was born May 5th, 1820 and died here in San Antonio in 1878. And the thing about him is he was born in Russia and lived here in San Antonio. Now there is a city here in San Antonio called Elmdorf. So I'm wondering if maybe the city is named after him. I noticed that here's a grave over here that's decorated. So I want to come by just out of curiosity and see who it is. Gilbert and Mary Esther Bonatello. I hope I pronounced the name right. Here's something ironic. The name on this grave right here is my whole name. Yikes, yikes, yikes. Edward Frank Johnson. He was born in 1949 and died May 15th, 2003. That is trip E. We don't die, we multiply. Have you ever went to a cemetery to look at a gravestone, or headstone rather, and see your own name, especially your full name? That is a trip. And that's my full name. Wow. I feel
feel like I'm tripping right now because I thought for sure I heard somebody walking behind me. But the wind is, you know, blowing a little bit. So I'm thinking it's just leaves wrestling. But that's crazy. Hello? Now, as you see here, I brought my laptop and uh, I'm going to do a small spirit box session to talk to Jack, just a short one. But I also brought my EMF meter to see if anything goes off. And I'm going to sit this right on his headstone. Let's see what happens. I come to you out of love and light. No disrespect to you at all, Jack. I told you I was going to come back. I'm here out of love and light. If you'd like to talk to me, this would be a great time. Are you here, Jack? I know you don't know me, sir. I mean, no disrespect whatsoever. My name is Ed. I want to ask you, sir. Did you owe money to the gentleman? Did you owe Ben Thompson money? Or did he owe you money? Was this a gambling debt? Sir, if you're here, can you make that light go off right there that's on your headstone? Can you touch it? Can you touch that? Yeah, I want you to touch it. I'm not trying to disrespect you, sir. I know you don't know me. I'm trying to get to know you and your story. I just want to know what happened. Can you tell me what happened? You know, I just seen my full name on a headstone right across. Can you tell me? Wow. Thank you, sir. Can you tell me how you passed? What happened? Can you tell me in your own words? Are you still at the Vaudeville Theater? Do you frequent there? I thank you for touching that light though. I appreciate that. 
This box is right here to give you a voice. Thank you very much again, sir. This. Yeah, all, you, all you gotta do is talk through this box right here. Whoa. Thank you, sir. Those are gunshots. Do you hear those gunshots? Did you say it feels so good? I don't think it felt good to get shot. I got shot once. And it burned. Is there something you'd like to tell a loved one? Is there a message you have for me? All of a sudden, I don't feel right being here. Before I leave, Jack, is there any last words? Do you want me to leave you alone? Make that light go off and tell me to leave you alone. Just make it go off one more time and I'll leave you alone. Am I bothering you? Okay, I'll stop bothering you. I'll just stop bothering you. I thank you for talking to me though, sir. And like I said, I did not come here to disrespect you. God bless you and I wish you a peaceful journey. But something is going on around here. I don't know, maybe I'm just tripping out. You know, it is a little bit windy out here. So it might have been that, but it, I could have sworn I heard somebody walking up to me. And that's what it kind of startled me because it started from right where my van is. Well, it's not my van, it's a rental, but still, it's just tripped me out. I don't know, but let's use the EMF meter and just walk around a little bit, shall we? Now, of course, should nothing be given off any kind of light whatsoever. So I'm just walking around to see if anything is here. Check this one out. It's interesting. Let's take the EMF over to where I seen my full name at and see if it goes off over there. Hey Edward, uh, this sounds weird because I feel like I'm talking to myself. Are you here with me? Whoa. We both have the same name. Makes me wonder if I'm a reincarnation of you. Wow. I appreciate you for coming through, sir. God bless you. Is this your family here? If it is, can you make this light up? That I'm holding in my hand? 
Are these family members? I mean, you don't have to make it light up. You don't have to prove nothing. Thank you. I guess it is. Well, hey, bruh, I'm not going to disrespect you. I'm going to let you and my name rest in peace. Here lies Squidward's hopes and dreams. What a baby. God bless you. It just seems weird for me to see my own name. Man. Stay blessed, my friend. Another thing I noticed about uh, this cemetery, uh, there's a lot of young people that's buried here, you know, even though it's back in the 1800s. But still, the fact that a lot of them were young. I even seen a one-year-old that's buried here. And one of the things I don't do when it comes to spirit box sessions is I don't do spirit box sessions on children. Because, depending on the age, they don't even understand what death is. That's just my opinion. There's a crypt down here that I believe me and John was here once before. And I just realized it was right here. So I want to go down here and just take a look at it. This is the Vaughn family crypt. Wow, look at that. At least it has the original door on it. I want to see if anything goes off here. Vaughn family, are you here? Let's see if I can knock on it and get a reply. Damn, I noticed something. I'm the same color as this door. Does that mean we're compatible? That's blacker than any Indian. I am depressed. And I noticed two other graves are right here. They haven't put headstones on them yet, but they got the uh, face plates on them. Well, I guess we're just going to go ahead and call it a day, at least on this for right now. Let me know what you think. And let me know also if you hear anything different than what I heard.
going to do it for today's video. I do hope you enjoyed it. Before I go, I want to give a couple shout outs if I may. I want to give a huge shout out to Ron and Faces of the Forgotten. Make sure you go by, check out his channel, like and subscribe and tell him that Eddie and Jen sent you. And I'm quite sure you will love his content. I know we do. I also want to give a shout out to Spooky Appalachian Paranormal. Make sure you go by, check them out, like and subscribe and tell them that Eddie and Jen sent you. And I think you'll like that content as well. And my final view is this. Even though I go out and I do spirit box sessions, I want to emphasize that I, we are not paranormal investigators, but we are paranormal enthusiasts. And I've been using the spirit box for over almost going on 30 years. I and my wife together over 22 years. So I love talking to spirits and I always treat spirits with the utmost respect. And that's all you need to do. And you will get responses, some good, some bad, but either way it goes, you will get a response. Just treat them as if they were people, because they were at one time or place. Whether you laugh with them, joke with them, but just talk to them and show compassion. Because we too, eventually, will be just like them. So just treat them with love and respect. Kindness goes a long way. As a matter of fact, we need to spread a little more of that kindness in this world because we're slipping. So spread some kindness and spread it when you do a spirit box session. And that's mainly for those that are paranormal investigators or paranormal enthusiasts like us. Just show them kindness but most importantly respect so what's your story now if this is your first time here please make sure you hit the subscribe button because we love having you as part of our family and don't forget to hit that notification bell for future videos and as always I keep this one pink as my salute to breast cancer awareness and share our videos if you like. We would really like that so much. Share them. But most importantly, just thank you for being there for us and for supporting us. We love you so, so much. And words just don't do no justice. But for now, I guess that's going to have to do. So I do hope that you did hit that like button because it really shows us that you really liked our, our, our stuff. We're getting better. We're getting better. And so are you. So keep being the wonderful person that you are. And stay blessed. And we're blessed just by having you in our family.